Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna make a table with one quarter of the work. Um, so we did a video last week on components, and it was kind of just a fun little thing, you know, use components to make a snowflake. It was short, it was simple, and it kind of showed the way that, that that works. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper and actually make uh, kind of a fancy, if I can say that, piece of furniture uh, with a little more practical application, right? Like how would I actually make you know, some more advanced geometry and how would I do that and save time by using components? And we're gonna talk about that right now. All right, so there's a couple ways to do this. I could just go in and straight up model one quarter of the table I wanna build, make it a component, then copy it. But uh, I wanna do this as I go. So I'm gonna start with uh, a square in the ground. I want to make a table that's like three feet by six feet. So I'm going to draw a, a rectangle on the ground that's going to be um, three foot by one and a half feet. All right, so this is a quarter of my table. Gosh, this seems tiny now that I did that. But uh, yeah, six foot is not a really big table, but that's okay. This is still going to work. Um, all right, so I'm going to grab this rectangle before I have anything else, and I'm going to say, make it into a component. And this is a quarter table. Not a kind of table, but a quarter of a table. All right, so now something real important is how I copy this, right? Because if I take this component right now and I just say option copy it over here, and then grab two of these, and option copy it over here, and then what I end up doing is coming in here and saying, okay, take, whoop, pardon me, Teddy. If I take this geometry and I raise it up and then we're gonna push, pull it down. Okay, so far so good. But then I'm gonna come in here and uh, I'm gonna put a table leg right here and I'm gonna pull that down. You can see, oh, that didn't work, right? Because I took that same component and I copied it in the same orientation multiple times. So I'm gonna undo a whole bunch of times to get back to just my one rectangle. So what I need to do, this is where mirror comes into play or flip. So I'm going to say flip. I'm going to hit my modifier key to make a copy. So that's the option key on Mac. And I'm going to drag the green axis over. So what that did was it actually made a mirror along this green this green uh, axis right here. Now I'm going to select both of them. And again, I'm going to say flip, hit the copy option, come over to here, flip that. So instead of just taking it and moving a copy and then moving two copies, I actually flipped it over, flipped it over, you know. So, so these are all the same now. All right, so I'm gonna start by, let's drag this down, give this table uh, like, a, let's, let's like an inch and a half depth here, something like that, that'll be good. And then uh, let's come in here and I wanna put a profile on to this piece, something, you know, Fancy. That's what I'm looking for is fanciness. That's the name of the game with this model right here. Um, so I'm going to put a little cup there. I'm going to go grab uh, maybe a circle and uh, I'll stick a circle in here like this. Give me that. Really, I'm just looking for a half circle. Something that comes out like, oops. Didn't go all the way down. There we go. Something like that. I'll pull that up to here. And then uh, maybe we'll come out like this, this, that. And, uh, let's put, let's put, you know what, let's do this. Let's, let's bring an arc back in like that. And then we'll come back to the table like that. There we go. So we get rid of that, get rid of that. Something like that. I'm gonna take that now and I wanna run that around. I only need to run it on these two sides and say, grab those two sides. We're gonna click follow me, click this shape. And there we go, it goes all the way around and see it in its glory right there. That looks awesome. Um, let's do a little bit more on this tabletop before we throw a leg on here. Let's say we wanna, I wanna do an, like an inlay, I wanna change some materials a little bit. So I'm gonna grab these two edges I'm going to offset, I'm going to pull that in once, and then I'm going to pull it in again, like a much smaller thing like that. 
That looks cool. Um, yeah, that looks nice. So actually, I'll get rid of these two pieces, and then uh, I'm gonna grab all of it, and I'm gonna fill it with uh, just a nice deep brownish color, and then we have kind of like a, a lighter color inlay just for this this piece right here. So I'm just gonna grab this uh, kind of golden brown. There. Now, I know the question's going to come up. I can already hear it in the forum. Where do you get the extension for these? This is a Mac default color selection tool. Uh, sorry, if you're in Windows, you can't have it. All right, let's put a leg on here now. Um, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here and I'll make this a little more realistic. I'm going to take these two, offset this in like an inch, and then I'm going to actually push this piece back up. There we go. That's nice. Now we got a little skirt around there, a little trim, um, and then our foot, our leg will come down from there. I'm going to actually create the leg as its own component. So uh, I'm going to start by just putting a, a square right here. Um, we'll make it like three by three. No, two by two. Two by two. There we go. Third try is a charm. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to make a new component and call it leg. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is because it's going to make it easier to do things like put this in the corner and then pull it out. And I can play around with this a little bit, right? So I can say uh, come out half an inch and then come this way half an inch. And then we'll drop that and grab that. I don't know what I just did. I just I, de I deleted something I shouldn't have there. Got a little little excited about my, my new leg. So uh, I think I pushed pulled it back up into itself. That's what I did. All right, so I'm going to come into the context of this. I'm going to pull that down my leg length. Uh, let's say like 31 inches. And then that looks pretty good. And you can see how as I'm doing this, I just have to do this one corner and then everything else follows along. So this is really, I mean, if I'm doing just a, if this was my leg, that would be pretty easy. But as I go in and I start to put a little bit more detail in here, uh, it's going to be, if I grab this here, um, actually, I'm going to do this. Grab just the outside edge. I'm going to double click to select the face and then I'm going to shift click on the face itself. That's giving me just the edges. And then I'm going to copy that piece up to here. What that's going to do is allow me to come down to the bottom and deform. So I'm going to go scale and bring this back like this to make the leg long, shorter, or I'm sorry, thinner at the bottom and see up at the top. Because I put this geometry in here, it kept that. It didn't bring that change in size all the way up. So I have this piece here and that looks good. And you'll notice because of the way I did that again, because I mirrored and copied the right geometry is going on the outside. It's super, super simple. All right. Um, let's go. I'm trying to think what else to do. Let's, let's put a little bit of a, let's put a foot up on here. Uh, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to move it vertically. Like, uh, yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to option bring that down. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to scale it back out a little bit. And then bring that down to create kind of a, just kind of a cool little, just a little foot. You know, a foot. That's it. Get rid of these extra edges. I don't need those there because this is a smooth piece on the, this side. But on this side, we got those transitions. Looks kind of cool. All right. And with that, we're pretty close to having, I'm gonna move this up to the origin. So it's above, above grade. Um, pretty close to having a finished table. The only reason I wouldn't call this finished right now is these ugly lines cutting right through the middle like this. I don't like that. So I wanna clean that up. Uh, I'm gonna double click on one piece. I'm gonna go up to view, component edit, and I'm gonna say hide similar components. That's gonna get rid of everything else. And I'm gonna come in here on the edge. I'm gonna go like this select that's gonna give me all those edges well actually first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of this face so select we got a little break right here select that face delete it same thing over here select delete it I don't need this little edge between then I'm gonna come over here grab these lines from the edge see it's just those lines none of the others are getting selected go to empty info and just hide them all right looks good I'm gonna come back in here do the same thing on this side grab those edges hide them now if I click out, 
now it really is going to look like one big table. So there we go. We have our, our terrible, terrible color of brownish green uh, inlay. I believe that's called Dijon. Um, and we have our, our fancy legs, with our little feeties on there, uh, our fancy edges. And uh, because we model a component on the corner, those all came together. So what do you do with this now? Well, I do have some options. I could grab all these pieces, make it into a new group, and then that group is now, or that could be a component too, is my main table. Um, I could come in here. If I know I'm not going to ever make any edits ever again, I could actually select this and explode this all and make it back into one piece using components just to speed up the input. Uh, it's kind of nice to maintain that separate piece because if I have to come in and make a change, say, uh, you know, I want to do a, a second inlay or something like that, um, I could do that now and uh, I could do it once because the component pieces are still there. Those I still have those four different pieces. So um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, one quarter of the work, one whole table uh, using components to model speeds your process up quite a bit. So it's a little more practical application. If you followed along last week and made a snowflake, good for you. That's awesome. Uh, but maybe this is something you could actually use while modeling real things that you have to create, whether you're, uh, you know, making a, a symmetrical door or, uh, you know, there's lots of things that have uh, can be bisected or broken into quarters or even sixths or eighths, depending on the geometry. And if there's ever a situation like that, it's great to do that. You cut your work down. Um, and one of the things that's nice about this is something like a table. I probably could do the follow me all the way around. It wouldn't have been a big deal. But then when I go to place the legs, placing each leg so that it is half inch, half inch off, half inch, half inch off, half inch, half inch off, half inch, half inch off. So you had to sit through all of that so I could really make the impact of that lesson. Uh, it speeds up the process. So, um, yeah, check that out. If you don't use components already, we do have some other videos that you can check out on our channel, talk about components and the difference between co components and groups, that sort of thing. Uh, but they are there for you to make repetitive input quicker, easier, and cut down on the amount of work you have to do. So hopefully that helps you out. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Let me know how you have found components save you time when you're modeling. And if you have an idea for a video that we haven't covered yet, leave that down there too. We love making these videos. We can be more on showing something you wanna see. Thank you.